can we talk about the scariest thing you will ever do in life? I mean the scariest thing you will ever do in life. And this is, whew, it, it even, it, it scares me to even make this video. <laughs> it's, scary. it's scary. What is the scariest thing? I just want you to walk and talk with me and Molly. What is the scariest thing you will ever do? Two words. Be yourself. Breathe. Be yourself. That is the scariest thing on planet Earth. Why? Because there are multiple pressures on you from day one not to be yourself. They don't want you to be yourself. They want you to be who they want you to be so they can be okay and comfortable. I'll say it again, truck was going by. People in your life, for the most part, the people that raised us and the people that we grew up with, they want us not to be ourselves. They want us to be who they want us to be so they can feel comfortable. Now, it takes a tremendous amount of love because perfect love casteth out fear to say, you know what? I'm not here for mama. I'm not here for daddy. I'm not here for grandpa, grandma. I'm not here for the clan. The clan meaning the group of people that you come from. I'm not here for the religion. I'm not here for pastor, preacher, teacher, uh, chief bottle washer. I'm not here for any of them. I am only here for God. And what is the God in me expressing through me as me that only can be expressed through me as me? Hello. <laughs> That's the question. The question is not, will they like me? What if they don't like me? Let me phrase this in a way that people will like. Hopefully they can, let me make it sound nice. You know, sometimes you say things and it's, it's, pure, it's purely authentic for you. Purely authentic for you. And then you go back and you edit it because, ooh, what if that's too strong? Well, it's like having a cup of coffee. And then you make it into, you put more water in it because, ooh, what if they don't like it too strong? Who wants watery coffee? Nobody wants watery coffee. And then on top of that, you know when, they're getting, when you're getting watery coffee. No, 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 that's not the way. So here's what it looks like to be you. It means... Standing up, standing in your truth, standing in all you are, all you have been, all you have experienced, in the truth of it, in the fullness of it, and sharing it in some kind of conscious way, speaking it, and with the intention to serve and support. Thank you. To uplift, to inspire, to empower. That's one of the scariest things you're ever going to do. And I will tell you that there, you have a lot of role models who've already done this. Oprah told you her life story and immediately people connected with her, raped when she was something like nine. Maya Angelou told you the same thing. She told you her whole story. She told you how she was kidnapped by her boyfriend, put in the trunk of the car, beat to within inches of her life. And he had her in the trunk of the car. He had abducted her. She was in the trunk of the car. And her mother found out by the grace of God, because you know the angels was going to tell on that one, because my angel had such a big destiny to live on this planet. So here we have that. They've told you their story. And they told you the raw, nitty gritty details. And this is what happens with, happens with a lot of people who are still enslaved to their story. Because I coach a lot of people, and this is the old, this is an overwhelming theme in coaching people. Shame because that was my issue as well. Shame. Shame over molestations, rapes, whatever the experience has been, because you think that the experience is somehow defining of who you are when it is not. Because we have these, we don't wanna stand in our truth and tell the whole thing, we wanna get on YouTube and make it look like cute and pretty, like, oh, my life is lovely. The truth is, it wasn't always lovely. Maybe it's lovely now. Maybe it's lovely most of the time. Yet there's still places where we're all growing. 
we all have raw spots, we all have soft spots. And you get to acknowledge those and you get to heal them in love. And get to tell your truth and stand in your truth and be all of who you are. That's the scariest thing on planet Earth. And once you do that, what could you really be afraid of? Because you don't already face all your inner demons. I love you. God bless you. Valerie Love. ValerieLove.com. ValerieLoveTV.com. Subscribe. God bless you. Mwah.